Hey guys, so today we've got Williams Mug Soap, a Gillette Platinum Blade that's fairly young, a Rocknell Mild, and a Umo High Mountain White Silk Badger Knot. And this is the Venus Handle with a Kaleidoscope Color Scheme or Model or whatever they call it, uh, red, white, and blue. So let us put things down. The Williams, I'm pre-soaking it, as I usually do with Williams, because it just speeds up the load time. It is a smaller puck than this tub. This is that kind of standard soap tub that's kind of rounded looking. And so what I did was I, I cut off chunks of the soap and put it around the edges. And so that acts as a, a, a lock to keep the soap from moving around inside the puck. You don't want it to do that. And this platinum, so this will be the ninth shave, and it's been doing very well. Very good cutter. Also, the Umo brush, I've used it once before, um, and it did well. It might be a little high lofted, we'll just see. Get it back in the water. Let's get the blade in the razor. This is the Rocknell Elite. I love the handle. It's nice and uh, kind of thick, but not too thick. It's got a nice weight to it, got a classic look, but it's somewhat interesting. And then, um, here we go. I have been pretty pleased with the performance of this razor. Um, it's nothing to really write home about, but it's, it's nice. Uh, I was not really impressed with the build quality of this. It just looks like a very elementary design, but it's effective. It's just not maybe as attractive as some or something like that. It's... I don't think it maybe should cost quite as much because it just looks like it didn't take too much in terms of the setup of the machine and things like that to actually um, get it done. Kind of simplistic almost, um, but not a beautiful simplistic, if you know what I mean. Sometimes things are so simple and elegant that they, uh, you know, they didn't take much, but it was such a great design that you can appreciate it. Well, this is not quite that. All right. Um, very good. Let's get my face wet. Then we'll mix up the soap. 24 hours of growth. And what I am going to do today, I'm using Williams. I mean, I've got a ton of soap, as you regular viewers know. So why am I using Williams? Many people don't like it. They don't they think some people call it a junk soap. Uh, if you watch my channel very much, you know, I regard it very highly because it's inexpensive. It's about the only soap you might actually be able to find somewhere, like a grocery store, uh, without ordering something online. Uh, in my locations, it's about $1.26. Even if you stretch it out to Amazon or eBay, you're only going to pay a couple of bucks per puck. It'll last you about, lasts me about 60 shaves, so I think that's pretty good for just a couple dollars. Uh, and also the performance, the slickness is top-notch. It may not have very much in terms of post-shave qualities, but if you're average skin or more oily than that, and you don't need any kind of special moisturizers then, and, and a, a just a normal balm or lotion after the shave is going to do you, then Williams is great. Not going to have a problem with it at all. It can be drying and kind of um, have that drying effect on your face if you don't mix it up right. I think that's part of the problem too with a lot of people out there. Uh, and also, it's just underrated. It, it was a soap used by just hundreds of thousands of guys for decades. And now it seems like we've got a generation of guys who've forgotten all about that. Um, and sure, a lot of other soaps out there that are easier to work, and, and, just, and rightfully so. That's what you should spend your time doing. However, I, uh, I like this little guy. And for the reasons I've, I've said... And uh, I think it's a good uh, way to learn good lathering skills. Once you learn how to lather this guy, like my friend on Reddit, Old Hiker, said, uh, he thinks people would have a lot better lathering skills if they would have maybe started out with something like this instead of some super easy to lather crope that doesn't really require you to know very much about lathering. All right. So I've had it soaking for a few minutes just while I've put my gear together, arranged everything. I'm gonna take the bloom water and pour it off because those those solids, the, the things that have uh, 
the solubles that have now mixed with the bloom water. I want to conserve those. Let's just try that this time. And so I'll pour that into, into the, the water. Oh, actually, no. Okay, here's my experiment. I'm actually going to pour that out because what I want to do this time is I'm going to lather it like I do mystic water soaps. I learned that mystic water does not like to have a bunch of water come into it early on in the mixing process. It just gets foamy and it's hard to pull back from that. And so what you do is you mix it for a while with just the water from your brush and the soap you're able to load up onto the brush. And then once it looks kind of like you might expect, then you can start adding water. Let's try Williams the same way. I have probably tried that already with Williams, but everybody's talking about Williams right now. There was a thread online on Reddit about Williams and everybody's chiming in with the usual stuff like, I don't bother with it. It's, a, it's okay, but you know, it takes too much work. And then other people, oh, it's great, it's slick, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and so, why not? Let's just do it. So what I'm gonna do is about a 30 second load. So we're starting at uh, eight, so we'll go to 38. I shook most of the water out of my brush. 30 second load is uh, often a, a good amount for me to start off with until I learn a soap. Many times I can then reduce it, like in the case of fine accoutrements, MDC, and sterling. Okay, almost to 30, 38. As you can see, we've got some froth definitely coming up here. Matter of fact, many guys think this is the kind of best lather you're going to be able to get from Williams. And unfortunately, that's just far from the truth if you put forth the work. What I'd really love to do is get a good Williams lather in a short amount of time because I've already put videos out there that show a good Williams lather, I mean a superb Williams lather, after about 12 minutes of me talking and mixing and things like that. Now, if you took away my talking, you know, you're probably looking at about eight minutes, but most guys, I don't think they want to, you know, spend that time. Let's take some of this overflow and kind of do a little face wash. And you can feel, even with this, the slickness that you're in for. Really nice. I use this uh, tub. Um, every time I go into a grocery store that has Williams, I buy a puck. Because it's just, you know, like I said, $1.25. And I'm supporting their, their Williams inventory. Hopefully they'll keep that going so that more people can get hold of a good soap. All right. And so, like I said, with Mystic Water, using just the water you left in your brush and the soap that you just loaded, let's mix for a little while until the lather looks uh, like it's come together, doesn't look wet, doesn't look frothy, anything like that. And so maybe we will stumble upon a quick and good way to a Creamy Williams lather. See, already it hasn't been very long and, and look what we've got there. Another common issue with Williams is that people say it dissipates. They'll get it on their face and then it just kind of dries up. Well, that means you either didn't load enough soap, you didn't mix enough water in with your lather, something like that. All right, now All right, see, we don't have anything like a frothy, airy, just looks a little dry. So, now let's start to bring in water, kind of like we normally do, just kind of maybe a teaspoon at a time, and see what happens. Looks like the water has been integrated into the lather pretty quickly. So let's do another teaspoon. I, I love the fact that Williams is available in many grocery stores, especially kind of lower, lower economic grocery stores, because I mean you can get on eBay and buy a vintage Gillette Tech for you know nine bucks. Then you go to Williams at your grocery store. Now you've got a shaving soap for, you know, 
25. Yeah, see, look at this. This is a normal looking lather. If you come at it, I think if you just come at it with too much water in your brush, you end up with that frothy stuff right away. Now, some people like to go ahead and take that to their uh, to their face in a face lathering type thing because maybe they like wet lathers, something like that. I mean, we are just, this is looking like a normal soap. No special technique really other than just take it slow in the beginning and don't add too much water. Don't come at it with a super wet brush, that kind of thing. I think maybe many of my techniques where it takes me a long time to get to a, a good Williams lather uh, are probably where maybe I started a little too wet with my brush and so I had to keep working it to to get those bubbles down and to get get it to turn into a creamy thing. This is there's tons of lather here. I mean, look at that looks like any great soap we have put four teaspoons in it five now it looks like maybe the 30 seconds was way too long to load See, I might, have been, I might be done with my lather by now. Because, but now I have to mix in the water to compensate for the amount of soap I loaded. Let's look at the elasticity here. Big old chunk of it. It's got pretty good, look how it's holding itself up vertically. Slowly moves down and it's in a big chunk and so that means it's really able to support its own weight really easy. So let's put another teaspoon in. So that's six I'm pretty sure we want to get a creamy lather and so far this hasn't been a difficult process now if you're in the morning if you're a morning shaver and you shave before work and you don't want to take several minutes to mix up your lather I completely and totally understand that if you want to experience the different scents that all the other soaps have to offer but I mainly just want to dispel the myth that Williams is hard to work with because this just hasn't been hard, has it? I mean, look, that's a glorious looking lather and it's just not that hard to put together. Many people say that a bore brush is what you need to use with Williams. Seven teaspoons now. But uh, as you can see, I'm using a, a big bloom soft badger brush. Next time I will load less soap because we have got a ton of lather here. Now, there you go. Uh, you see how it's changing? See how it's becoming a little heavier, a little more elastic, long, stretchy peaks, and then it just collapses. See, people don't think you can get this kind of lather from Williams. And I'm just adding water. It's not rocket science. This will probably be the last that I had. And so I guess that is eight, eight teaspoons of water. 30 seconds of loading, eight teaspoons of water. That might be close to the right mix. Now, you take that as a ratio, reduce it maybe down to 20 seconds of loading. Now, of course, we're talking about a soaked puck that's been soaked for a few minutes. It's gonna be a very different load time if you come at it as a dry puck. And Williams also loads a little easier if you use it day after day because a little bit of the remnant water will still be in the puck. The puck will be slightly moisturized. I 
That's what I'm talking about right there. Look at that. People don't know that you can just, you can get that from Williams and it just wasn't. It just hit me as an epiphany because I had, I've just been discussing it with people and talking about, I was talking about specifically there's this frothy nature to it if you come at it with too much water. And it hit me, wait a minute, that's what happens with mystic water. Come at it with too much water and it takes, you don't want to do that. Come at it a little on the dry side with a little bit of water from your brush. Make sure you work that up into the lather first. And then start slowly adding water. And it turns out it worked with Williams. All right. Now the one issue with this brush that I had initially, I, this is my second time using it. It's got a lot of bristles. Big splay. And it might be actually splaying too much. Do you see this part of the knot that's never actually touching my face? Ah, caught it. Well, maybe I need to reduce this loft a little bit with some O-rings and see if I like that better. Nice temporary way to test out. Oh, this lather feels good. And slickness is nice. Williams is also a good brush cleaning soap. You don't have to order some special brush cleaning soap if you don't want to. Williams will do it nicely, but the only thing it won't do is remove, uh, it does a really good job at stripping the oils, removing the oils and stuff that have gradually built onto the brush, build up, things like that. And then maybe do a vinegar soak after to get rid of any hard water calcium type, you know, deposits. All right, looks good, feels good. Nice vintage scent, just a kind of a clean soapy scent. It will start off strong at first, but then if you just give it a little time, especially uncovered, in a couple days it'll go down to just a mild soapy scent. And the reason I'm still, I didn't sell this razor immediately was because of this. It's just doing a good job. It's got a little bit of audio. Tempted to just sell the head and keep the handle. Because the head isn't really too much special, but I, the handle just sits nice, hits a nice sweet spot for me. Very good. And we can... This blade's nice and sharp. I probably don't need to be doing this touch up in my trouble spot like I usually have to with the uh, vintage Nasset, the venerable Super Nasset that I've been using lately. Rinse. Yesterday I used the Knight's Helmet razor head from Yaki that I got on sale. Man, it was fairly aggressive. Not something I want to repeat. And then later, a couple hours later, I decided to put on a splash because I just wanted to smell like that. I had used a balm after the shave. But then I decided, hey, I'll put on a splash. It was Patches from Bear Stern. Man, I actually like it. He may have done himself a disservice putting all the strawberries on the front because that's a small part of the scent. It's got some nice... Uh, woody and earthy tones to it that I really enjoy. And then the minute that alcohol hit my face, whew, even a couple hours later after the shave, that's how much that night's helmet roughed me up. Ah, oh, man, it was stinging. Whew, boy. All right. As you can see, we don't have any dissipation. I've just almost never had my Williams lather to dissipate. Just got to give it enough water Loaded enough, that sort of thing. Mix it long enough. Cross grain now since it's the second pass. And for me, see right here, is from south to north, kind of basically, but on my neck, that is a cross grain pass.
Cross string doesn't mean left and right all the time. It means across the grain of whichever way the hairs happen to be pointing. They could be pointing up. Cross grain would be left or right in that case. Very good. Just an easy, quick shave, ultra slick with Williams. I'll bet this third pass is not really needed. My face just feels really good. Nice creamy lather here. Let's uh, just take a little better look at it. Got another three passes in the bowl there. Show you right quick. Tons. So yeah, maybe reduce down to 15 seconds and four teaspoons of water, maybe. But uh, oh, I'm Williams lather. I mean, this is superb. This is this is competitive with pretty much anything out there in terms of just pure slickness. Got a nice, light, soapy, very clean contact slickness to it. You can mix it thicker if you want, obviously. You can even go thinner if you're a straight razor shaver. This, to me, is pretty much perfect. Feels great. And third pass. Now you could probably get a pretty reasonable ratio and not soak the puck. For instance, if it was a 15 second load and not soaking the puck, then maybe a uh, maybe a 30 second load with soaking the puck. I mean, uh, without soaking the puck um, would give you the amount of soap you need. That might be worth trying. Might try that next time. Shave feeling great. Face feels nice. It's rebounded from yesterday's torture. Wasn't too bad, but yeah, I wouldn't want to do that again. Oh man, yeah. That looks really nice. It's a good combination, this platinum with the rock mill. Don't know whether it's rock mill or rock nail. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. But I know I need to rinse. What I was saying earlier, you can get a $10 tech, a $10 or $15 bore brush from Samoog or Zenith. You can get a Puck of Williams for $1.26, $1.30. And those three items can deliver to you wonderfully smooth shave, slick lather. Feel As I was rinsing, man, it just felt really slick and nice. If you end up with itchy skin after the shave, that usually means you didn't add enough water, and so there was too high of a concentration of soap on your face. In my experience, that's how it has been. Uh, but back to what I was saying, a budget shave, and then you get some blades, you know, and, and you're good to go. And the, the slickness, it really does compare to the high-end soaps out there. It really does. And so you can get that same wonderful feeling uh, of, of shaving and the brush that those little bores will you'll bond with them as you watch them grow and split and change and become softer and better with each use and that's a wonderful shaving experience for not very much money at all and so I love that about Williams that it's it makes that whole assembly possible to be able to bring somebody of just about any uh, salary range any economic status it brings them into the world of enjoyable, comfortable, luxurious feeling shaves. And I love that about it. Uh, Intrepid Man from Sterling. I sure am glad I had this yesterday because I needed a balm like this after that rough shave. Don't really need it today, but I just liked the scent. And I've been feeling just a little bit of stinging with this 
And so I wonder if I'm actually maybe allergic to a small component in this. Not enough to make me break out or anything, but enough to give an, a slight itching sensation for just a couple of minutes and then it goes away. Probably some kind of sensitivity to a, a fragrance oil or something like that. Like I said, I loaded way too much uh, soap. And here is all of the leftovers. Definitely three passes at least in here. So I wouldn't start by maybe having, halving, having the, um, taking the recipe and turning it in half. Uh, the eight teaspoons of water with 30 seconds of loading. And of course with a nice soft big brush, 26 millimeter brush, uh, that could affect your load times as well, so adjust. If your brush differs from this, you may need to make adjustments there too. So it's uh, it's not as creamy as some of the other soaps out there. You know, you can still see kind of some micro bubbles and things in the lather, you know. But in terms of slickness, contact slickness, and this won't dissipate. As you can see, it's not dissipating. Uh, high Mountain White Silk. Now, they're calling it silk, but to me that it doesn't really reflect silkiness, and so I'd just say it's a High Mountain White Knot. I have tried the Elite Razor High Mountain White, and another High Mountain White, and this one, and I'm a fan so far of, of whatever they're calling High Mountain White. Um, yeah. I mean, it's, it's got a little bit more backbone, perhaps, than the silver tips, because it is definitely a silver tip looking knot. It's got a thinner dark band here for the three band, and maybe the tips just aren't quite as soft as a silver tip, but you get that backbone that's just a little stronger than a silver tip, and so it's not going to be quite as, as floppy. This has been stropped on a towel, and you can see how big this bloom is. It is a big one. Alright, so I'm putting a big successful lather today from Williams, and uh, yeah, I'm liking that Intrepid Man scent. That's a good one. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I use an aftershave, use my hands to put it on, I really enjoy, probably because I get used to what's on my face throughout the day, I really enjoy inhaling it from my hands at various points during the day, getting a fresh blast of the scent that I enjoyed that that morning or that evening or the night before or whatever. Really like that. Also worth noting is that this is modern Williams. It's not the older formulation prior to, I think, what, 2005, uh, that had more tallow. You had much better, uh, a noticeably better, creamier lather with that version, the older version. And the uh, newer one, as you saw, still gives a great lather, but it's not quite as good as the old, but this is a modern, and uh, uh, I think my water here might be a little hard, but maybe it's medium, um, but even at my other place that I've used, uh, shaved a lot with hard water, this mm, formulation, modern formulation of Williams, still does great. All right, nice shave, glad for that one, and I'm super glad that the, uh, the new idea worked with Williams, it's much easier than uh, the kind of the longer method I had before where I came into it with too much water and so then I had to keep working it until it acted right um, till it you know came back to the creaminess that I knew it could get to so I'm really happy about that so next I don't think I'm gonna use this as my good example video to point to people yet because I overloaded the soap and so that gave that made mixing time a lot longer so I'm going to maybe do a shave tomorrow or something with the lower ratio of load time and water, and we'll see what we get. Um, all right, there we go. Hope there's been something good in here for you. Uh, we kind of have been camping on the Gillette Platinum lately. Maybe I will explore another blade next time. Just wanted to try this Rock Mill again, and it's a good razor. I definitely wouldn't mind it if it were my only one. It's got a little bit more voice to it than I usually have, um, but not bad. It doesn't annoy me, uh, and it's smooth enough. 
uh, to where I, I wouldn't mind keeping it around. I love the handle. I'm seriously thinking about keeping the handle and just selling the head. I know then I won't get as much for it, but uh, the handle just sits a sweet spot for me with the size and stuff. Anyway, there we go. Um, this is Sugar Daddy Shaves. You guys have a good day. Take care.